Hello, my name is Vortex Warp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, what I have for you, um, along with Mech over here, is a 3x3 flush piston door um, that uses minimal redstone on the bottom. So, the whole, uh, basically, the whole mechanism is 7x11x6 by by blocks, and like from one side, uh, as Vortex said, it's flush. And but from the other, like you can see, pistons uh, and stuff like it's flush only from one side. So as you can see, it's quite a fast door. Uh, the opening and the closing are quite quite fast as well, like that. So it's quite neat. And the way it works is you, we've got like basically half of a jeb door on either side, bringing that block and these two blocks here. And then the pistons at the bottom push up, so it's just the two centre blocks that need to close. And for that, um, we've got a double piston extender at the top, which pushes down some slime and some blocks. And then a piston behind brings these forward into position. And on the retraction, a similar thing, we just retract all of the blocks. These are the resources you will need. One redstone lamp, 23 sticky pistons, 11 redstone repeaters, 11 observer blocks, 2 redstone blocks. 2 slime blocks, 20 redstone dust, 1 lever, and 2 immovable objects. We we'll also need plenty of regular blocks, although sh these should not be too hard to gather. So first we have the piston layout for the door itself. Um, we've got our frame here of 3x3, three three, so this is the level you want to be at. And we've got sticky pistons back here like so. Um, one block indented from the wall. And we've got uh, sticky pistons facing sideways like that on both sides. And then above, we've got a double piston extender. So that's, if you imagine the top is there, it's one, two, three, three blocks up uh, from there, like so. Plus three pistons are down here. And, uh, yes, so like that. And that's all of the pistons for the actual door itself. Okay, so now for the yellow wiring, this is what does the side jeb doors. We just need uh, an immovable object for the center here. So we use obsidian. Um, we use blocks like this, as you can see, and these repeaters are facing outwards and they're both on two ticks, like so. So next is for the green wiring. We're going to start down here um, next to this one, this repeater here. Have a repeater on two ticks facing outwards with a block behind that and a block above it. This um, observer block is facing upwards and it's got a redstone dust on its face. It comes across like this, up, repeater on one tick, which powers into a dust, which is on a redstone block, which is on uh, an observer block, sorry which is facing downwards into this piston, um, which is a sticky piston, and then there is a redstone block on its face. Next is the blue circuit. We need a solid block underneath this redstone block here, with a four tick repeater pointing into it, and a four tick repeater pointing into this green block here also. Then we need a redstone line behind it, and a four tick repeater pointing into the circuit from this blue block here. Which, this block is basically the power source from, for the entire circuit. Next, we're going to add some observers. We're going to have one facing out from this piston. Then we're going to go down and we're going to place three observers in a chain, a sticky piston there, and then another observer facing in towards the center there. So next, we're going to add this little circuit on the side here. Um, underneath of this block here, which is our input block, we're going to have a redstone dust on top of the face of an observer. So that's a facing downwards observer. And that observer is running into a redstone lamp, which has another observer powering across into this piston, which is sticky, and that's also got an observer pointing into the middle on its face. So next you want to add in your slime blocks. You're going to place two slime blocks there, below the double piston extender, with the blocks for your door on their face. You can also place two blocks in here and two blocks in here, which will be your door blocks. Okay, the final finishing touch for your door is this purple circuit down the bottom. You just need to run repeaters into your three bottom pistons, and then have these powered by a redstone line. Um, like so. This redstone line is powered by a redstone block, which is uh, pushed by a sticky piston. And there's a sticky piston up here as well with an observer attached to its face pointing downwards next to the blue circuit. Like so. There's one thing left to add, and that is your piston. Um, you just need to place that uh, in here. So you place a temporary block and then your piston and break your temporary block you should have completed your door. So let's give it a test. 
And as you can see, it all functions. And if you retract the door, that works wonderfully too. Now you can just cover up everything inside with whatever blocks you want, making sure to leave a hole where this piston is. But when it's closed, it should be uh, completely covered. And there you go. Your door is done and there is very limited resident on the bottom. So thanks for watching guys. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.